Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about style transfer. So what is style transfer in its high level form? Well, style transfer takes an image like this and an image like this and turns it into an image like this. Okay, but that's not enough for you guys, right? You guys want to un actually understand how it works. So let's jump right into it. Before we go and code this, let's talk about what style transfer is. Style transfer at a very high level takes in an input image, which is a content, takes in a style image, and outputs a stylized image that is like the style. What's special about the style transfer is that the model itself is not being updated in the optimization stage. That is, when we apply gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent or Atom or RMS prop, we are not actually updating the model itself. What we are updating is the input image. So instead of updating the model to decrease a loss function, we are updating the input itself to decrease a loss function. I.e., in style transfer, you update the input to minimize a cost function, not a model. So we apply optimization on the input. To get a clearer example, to get a clearer view of this, we change the view that we had before to illustrate what is constant and what is not constant. So the input image, the content image is constant. The style image is constant. The model image is constant. What is not constant is the input and the output. So let's go through one cycle of this. On the first cycle, we input a content image, we input a style image into a model, and we also input an input image. We get an output, which is a partially stylized image. It won't look quite like this. It'll look very early stage. There'll be some squiggles on the edges. It won't look exactly like Starry Night yet. We have to iterate that. But after the first stage, we do not input the input image anymore. After the first stage, the input image is the output. So we apply gradient descent on the output, changing the output slightly. And then we apply the output to the model again as an input. And then we go through the cycle over and over again, slowly changing the image on the right. Machine learning is all optimization. And in our case, we need to find a good loss function so that we optimize a style and a content. So we want to understand that the image is a bridge, but at the same time, we want to have that bridge looking like Starry Night. So to do that, we apply a linear combination of a style loss and a content loss. To understand the total loss function, we first have to understand both the content loss and the style loss. We will start with the style loss since that's the harder of the two. To do that, we will take this hypothetical five layer convolutional neural network. If you haven't seen convolutional neural networks before, I highly suggest that you look them up. Basically what convolutional neural networks are, are you get an image and at each layer you have several filters that are applied to the image at the previous filter. So if we have an input, which is an image, we apply these filters to the image and get the number of images that are the number of filters out to layer two. At layer two, we have a number of filters and it goes on and on until we reach layer four, which is the layer that we're interested in, that we say is the uh, home of the style features in our case. So the main idea is that we take a style image, we input into a model, we output style features. We do the same thing for the output image. We apply it to the model, get out style features for the output image, and together we get a style loss. Now, to understand style loss, we first have to understand what a gram matrix is. At a very high level, a gram matrix is just the matrix of all possible inner products. So the distances between each of the features. So for example, if we take the 110th pixel in this image, say 110, somewhere here, then that is the distance between the 100th feature and the 10th feature. Now, distances could be defined however way you want. Uh, in our case, we will just say that's Lebesgue 2, L2. Once we find the gram matrix of the 
content, I mean the style image and the gram matrix of the uh, content image or the output image of the style features. Then we just subtract them and square them. The idea to pull out of this is that the gram matrix is basically the representation of the style. So we want the representation of the style of the style image to be almost the same as the representation of the style of the input. We square them to remove negative signs so that we cannot get uh, cancellations. We just want them to be as close to zero as possible. And that is our style loss. The content loss is a lot simpler. So if we have a pre-trained network like DGG19, then presumably at the late latter uh, stages of this network, we already have pretty good representations of what these things are. So if it's a turtle, then at layer five, we should probably know it's a turtle based on certain elements of that, that uh, layer. So all we have to do is take an input image, which is the, or the content image, into the model and output the content features. Do the same thing for the input image, get the content fit features, and then make a content loss. This content loss is just the difference of the two, um, two features, the two content features. And we square them to remove uh, possible cancellations. That's it. In total, this is the whole loss. And this is the loss that we will want to optimize for. In the next video, we will be looking at the coding example. We'll be coding this from scratch.